Grease star Stockard Channing, who found fame with her portrayal of the festy Betty Rizzo in the 1978 hit film, has been mocked on Twitter after appearing on The Andrew Marr Show after what seems to be an extensive plastic surgery overhaul. The 73-year-old actress was compared to the Joker in Batman and a cartoon baddie when she sat down with Marr to talk about her new West End play, Apologia. Stockard, who went on to play First Lady Abby Bartlett on the West Wing between 1999 and 2006, discussed how, in her view, feminism has been given a bad name in recent years. It seems, to be, like the we hate men thing, which in my recollection wasn't the case at all, she said. It was really about being equal to men, obviously we still don't have the equal pay thing, but we've got an awful lot. It's a cliché but it's true, a lot of young women take, things, for granted. Stockard argued that hard-fought abortion rights are one of the freedoms young people today don't realize are in threat, saying she can still remember illegal abortions being carried out at home. When I was in college I remember that kitchen table stuff, she went on. It was really scary, life-threatening, and that's something that a lot of people seem to take for granted. It could be taken away. But those watching along at home weren't interested in her nuanced view of modern life, they wanted to talk about how different she looks. Dear me Stockard Channing. What happened to Bartlett's first lady? Asked one. What has Stockard Channing done to herself she looks completely different, queried another. A third wondered aloud whether Stockard had been using plastic surgery to turn back time, tweeting. What a shame that Stockard Channing has overdone the plastic surgery and Botox. Others made cruel comparisons. While Stockard has never publicly confirmed or denied having plastic surgery to alter her looks, many are speculating that she's had work done. Her lips look fuller than in her younger years, possibly the result of having fillers put in them, while her cheeks are more pillowy, which could be down to having collagen injections. She may also have turned to Botox to tackle wrinkles and lines around her eyes and forehead, and an eye lift to get rid of fatty deposits and dark circles.